talk to you this morning about bigotry. But I'm not going to talk to you about bigotry in the usual lazy cliches we've all grown used to. I want to talk to you about the bigotry and prejudice that resides in each of us. Work with me here, folks. When I say Occupy Phoenix, what comes to your mind? When I say union Thank member, you. Thank you. what comes to your mind? When I say Democrat, does your heart open or does it close? Can you see how the fear imposed upon us by the 1% threatens to destroy this movement, this great awakening that we've all waited for so long to see? Yeah, yeah. When we blame each other, cut each other off because of the labels, we are no better than the 1%. At its heart, bigotry is a form of lazy fear. All of us here today have played a part in the rise of the 1%. Now don't be throwing anything at me, it's the truth. All of us were human. Blaming each other is a sneaky way to avoid looking at our own prejudices, a justification for not getting out of our comfortable ruts. And at the bottom of it all is fear. Fear is what keeps people looking at or stay, sitting on their couches, staring at their TV or their computer monitors. Fear is what keeps people from voting. Fear is what keeps people from Cesar Chavez Plaza. I ask all of you today to talk to someone out of your comfort zone. The occupiers are over there where you see those canopies. The reason you are wearing Occupy buttons is because of brave people like that. Talk, argue, share what you assume about each other. But most of all, hang in there with each other. In doing so, we can bring democracy back to America. We can eradicate the corruption that has overtaken our government and our political parties. We can overcome the internal corruption that keeps us separated. And most of all, we can make the phrase liberty and justice meaningful again. Thank you.